Okay, so we'll have a really interesting day today. So, each straight ahead, coming into mountain pose, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Shoulders back and down toward your waist throughout so that you don't hunch up toward your ears. Get your core activated, ribs toward your spine and up, feel that spine support. And then reach your crown toward the ceiling. Take a moment to get that inner focus, breathing. Just allow that inner awareness to be with you throughout your practice. Inhale your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out, spread your toes out. Exhale, hands to your chest, elbows slightly back. Inhale out to the front, but keep your shoulders down. And then exhale the hands behind, just clasp the fingers, lift your heart, stretch your head back. And then exhale, pivoting at the hips, come on all the way over as deeply as you'd like. Spread your toes, lift your arms, Tuck your chin in, circle it around a few times to get that neck releasing. And then knees bent, work your way up. And just slowly from the bottom of the spine to the top, stretch and lift your heart, looking overhead. But remember, don't lift your chin too high. You want that neck stretching out. Inhale, upright, release your arms. And just take a moment feeling that circulation and energy flowing. And again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and exhale the hands behind, just shift the fingers one position over and press them toward the floor. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and then exhale all the way over. Hands up, head down, breathe. Deepen in as much as you'd like, lift your sitting bones. And then knees bending slightly, work your way from the bottom of the spine all the way up into the back bend. One more time, just stretch the head back. And inhale, upright and release. As you get into your mountain pose again, just take a moment observing your response. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, pass them in class. Bring your arms back by your ears and stretch everything straight to the front as you lean to the side and get those ribs open. Press the foot you're leaning away from down or reach out through your head and your fingers. And then inhale back to the center. Keep the shoulders down, but switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, stretch everything out and lean to the other side. Remember, don't lean forward, push the foot down you're leaning away from to maximize, stretch everything out. Take a breath. And then inhaling, come all the way up and back into mountain pose. Feel your body, shoulders up, back and down a couple of times. And then stretch your spine apart so it can twist. So bring your arms again to shoulder level, spread your toes. Palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows. Stretch up and exhale, turning over to one side. Take a breath and exhale all the way over. As you deepen into that position, just relax. Sitting bones up, arms by your ears. Pull in as far as you want. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then staying in your twist, work your way up. And again, upper body for the back bend, elbows back, shoulders down, chest high. And remember, gentle on that low back, especially in the twist. Take a breath and stretch. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center. Switch your arms around to balance things out. And again, lengthen the spine apart and twist to the other side. Breathe in and exhale a little bit. And again, just take a moment there, hanging, relaxing, breathing. Weight on both feet and staying in your twist. Work your way up. And again, upper body back bend, stretching into that 
heart opening and elbows back position. Inhale back to the top, exhale around to the center, arms up into extended mountain. Stretch the crown up, sitting bones down. Swan dive forward, so arms to shoulder level, push it out through the fingertips, sitting bones and crown, stretch apart. Feel that core supporting you. And then drop into ragdoll. Just take a moment hanging. Pull in deeper if you want with your hands behind your legs. Get a good stretch through the whole back of your body. Arms back to the center and wind up one more time. Bring those shoulders up, back, and down and return to mountain pose. As you get into your position, just take a moment feeling what's going on through your whole spine and your body. And then let's kind of isolate movements a little bit. So we have, we've done the rib movement before, so let's start there. Find your ribs and just circle them around, keeping your hips and shoulders as much stable as you can. And just move that midsection. So ribs to one side, around and back, and then circle them the other way. You can release your hands if you want. And then bring your hands to your hips. Same thing with the hip area pelvis. Just move that. Keep the shoulders above the ankles as much as you can, just moving that hip area around. And again, stop and go the other way. Just feel what's going on. And then returning. And then let's do the shoulder area. And circling around and again, reversing. And release. And then let's move the whole body a little bit. So circle the whole upper body, doing it nice all the way around. So the chest comes high as you circle the head to the back and then it comes forward. You just feel that whole upper body moving all around. And then put your hands on your hips again and pivot forward from the hip joint. And then do it a little bit deeper. So really getting high chest in the back and low to the floor in the foot. Feel the whole spine working as you do that. And then pause at the front and go the other way. And again, feel the whole spine, the whole body moving as you go through your range of motion. Off circling, keeping those hips more or less above the ankles as you go through that full circle. One more time around. And again, as you come to the front, pause. And inhale back up and into mountain pose. And then turn the feet out a little bit. Bend your knees toward your toes, not beyond. Hands above your knees, and we'll do our little twists. Stretch the sitting bones and the crown away from each other. And rotate the shoulder across toward that opposite knee. And the other hip going out. Take a breath. Deep it as much as you like. And then back to the center, straighten in it, stretch, and bring the other shoulder over and across. Push that hip back and slightly to the side. So remember, not a lot of pressure in your hands, just working the spine. And then back to the center. Tuck in your chin, sitting bones down, and again, just wind up, shoulders back and down, and turn the feet back to the center. Hands to your heart. We'll look at them as you breathe, bringing them up. Pull the thumbs back, lift your heart a little higher, give a nice back bend. And exhale, hands to your heart. Back into mountain pose. 
Circle your shoulders. And the other way. Bring your arms up to shoulder level, fingertips touching. Pull your elbows back, keep the arms at shoulder level as much as you can, fingertips together. Hands coming out and all the way around toward the back, as far as they wanna go, remember not too far, personal practice. Hands back to the center, fingertips touch. Elbows back, fingertips touch, arms free up back as much as you want and again fingers touch keep those shoulder blades down as you do one more set all the way back and touch and release and let's do our pelvic tilt so remember angle the toes out slightly tree the whole leg so the knee and toes go the same direction bend your knees toward but not beyond your toes Bring your shoulders above your toes. Hands just positioning, not supporting. And then push your sitting bones way back and your chest way forward and let that whole rib area sink toward the floor. And then sitting bones tuck down, ribs come in and you look down between that space between your feet. Rounding. Inhale, back bend, sitting bones back, chest forward. Really drop those ribs, feel the whole spine, and lift the ribs, tuck the sitting bones, and tuck in the chin. Breathe a couple of times through that range of motion into the back bend, inhaling, and into the forward bend, exhaling. Take a breath as you do it each way, inhaling, back bend, exhaling, forward bend. Just feel that whole spine working. And then come back all the way up and into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get back into mountain pose, feeling your spine more activated. Let your arms relax at your sides, stretch the spine apart, and we'll swing in our windmill just gently side to side. Follow your hands one side to the other. Take a breath, keep reaching up through the crown. Keep those sitting bones toward the floor. Keep the hips over your ankles. Just look maybe a little further toward the back of your circle at each end. Really lengthening through your whole body. And then back to the center. And again, let's work the shoulders a little bit with that backstroke and swimming. And again, feel the whole body working on this. It's not just the arms, the shoulders, the spine, the hips, everything. We're giving a little bit of movement here. Keep those arms in as close to your ears as you can as they come up and around. And then release and bring your arms again to shoulder level. Turn the palms up, spread your fingers, and some big circles. So keep the hips over the ankles, the shoulders over the hips, the crown reaching toward the ceiling. Keep the fingertips reaching out, make the circle smaller. And then stop, turn the palms down, circle the other way. Start with those big circles. Everything's stacked, only the arms really doing their jobs. And then small circles. And then stop, stretch it out. Push to one side, keeping the hips over the ankles. A little rib opening. Stretch back to the center and exhale to the other side. Back to the center, stretch it out. Palms up, hands knee overhead, swan dive forward. Push the sitting bones slightly back. Parallel to the floor, stop. Stretch everything straight and then drop into right go. Just deep breath, tension out. Knees bent and again slowly wind up. Bring your shoulders back and down and return to mountain pose. Feel your body, 
Noticing how your stimulation is working today for you. <clears throat> Arms at shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades down, keep the toes spreading. Stretch up on one side, getting that rib area opening, coming up on the opposite toe, lifting that heel. So the side you're stretching stays flat, really reach it out. Exhale that one down. Inhale, stretch the other side. Lengthen through that whole side. Really feel it from the foot pressing down through the fingertips up. Keep the shoulder blade though toward your waist, shoulder away from your ear. I know it's complicated. Exhale down. Let's do that first side again. Stretch it out. See what's going on. Manage your body so that everything works independently. Exhale there, once more on that second side. Stretch it out. And then both feet down, hook the thumbs, and bring the whole arm area next to your ears, shoulder blades toward your waist. Pivot, and bring your body parallel to the floor. Spread out your toes, lift the the sitting bones and crown away from each other. Stretch it out. And then again, drop into your right dog. Just hang. Feel the back of your legs. Lift the sitting bones a little bit more to get them a little bit more stretched. And then bend your knees. Slide your hands up onto your knees and pause there. And we're going to circle the knees. So just bring the knees around in big circles. Feel what parts of your body are working with that. Stop and go the other way with your knees. Circling. Remember, don't push them beyond your toes. Just gentle little circles. And then stop in the middle. Straighten things out and find that spot on the floor. Lift your heels for a little balance practice. So you're coming into that base of the toe area, onto the balls of your feet. Lifting the heels as much as feels okay for you. Straighten the spine, stretch it out. Remember, no pressure in the hands on the knees, just positioning. And then pull back and forth on your feet, onto the heels, onto the toes, getting the arches working, pull lines of your feet. And back into mountain pose. Take a moment as you get there, straightening things out so we can do our balance practice. Ribs toward your spine and up, crown toward the ceiling. Everything stacked for support. Remember, you may need to adjust that leg so that the knee is going second toe area, and then straighten it out. Lift the kneecap, tighten the front of the thigh, get the back of the leg straight and supportive. Core active and supporting, so remember ribs toward your spine and up, shoulders back and down, round to the ceiling. Bring that other leg up, just a little, or more, or pull it in toward your heart. You can wrap your arms around and pull it in as tight as you want. And of course, we'll work the ankle. Circle it one way and then the other. Flex and point and release. Shift to the other side, and again, straighten things out. Get the base of the toes and heels working, no gripping with those toes, or active, everything stacked for support. Align those knees with the toes, and make sure that everything is supporting you and bring the other foot up. And again, pull it in as much or as little as you want. Get stable and circle the ankle, both ways. And straighten it out and release. Back in mountain pose, take a breath. We'll do one more balance practice. So basically the same thing, but you know, a little, little extra to it. So take your favorite balance foot, get centered and grounded. We're active on the foot up. And again, you can go only where you need to. But if you're there and you feel like you can, Pivot at your hip, 
I hold under the bottoms of your face of the toes. Stay there, pull it in, or straighten back up if that works. Take a breath. And on an exhalation, release that foot back into mountain pose. Exhale any stress, shift what worked, improve the rest, and get ready for that second side. So again, weight over the base of the toes and heel evenly, spread those toes, core active in the foot. Pull it in as much as you want, stay there, or pivot at your hip, reach under the toes, and hold. Stay there, or pull the heel in a little bit as you come back straight up as much as you can. And slowly lift that foot down. <laughs> Shoulders back and down, and hands to your heart. Inhale, follow the hands up. Look at your thumbs coming into the back bend. Exhale over, pivot at your hips, pull away any ragdoll, and come to the floor into child's pose. Transition. Take a moment there and breathe. Let the shoulders relax, hips release, everything just soften and sit. Inhale, sit up and slide off, bringing your legs to the front. Sitting bones slightly behind you, press out through the bottoms of your feet, and four active shoulders above your hips, bring the right foot to the inner thigh, knee out to the side, and then bring that other heel back near your hip. Remember, not under it, that hip can be up a little bit because we're gonna dive our dolphin. So stretch up, spine apart, and twist to that first one. Hands on the leg or the floor, ribs in, exhale, and dive in. And as you inhale, face forward, lift the face toward the ceiling and the heart up as you breathe in. Exhale, dive under. You are the dolphin under the water. And then inhaling, coming up to the sun of the sky, leaping like those playful dolphins. As you go. Once more, as you come to the top, pause, exhale back to the center, and release your legs. Take a moment, feeling that spine more activated. And of course, we're going to dive our dolphin to the other side. So, foot to the inner thigh, sitting bones behind you. Bring the heel in near your hip, but not under it. Let that hip be up slightly so you can twist. Lengthen through the whole spine so they're separating to twist. Exhale and turn to that first knee. Ribs in, exhale and chin tucking slightly, bringing the forehead down toward the knee as you exhale. And then rotating the face forward and up, coming to the sun and the sky as you breathe in. Diving under and looping up, you're the dolphin. Just feel your spine, feel your breath, feel your body going through your motions as you breathe. And then as you come to the top this time, pause in the upper area, and then exhale back to the center, releasing your legs into step. Take a moment and breathe as you bring the feet to the end of the mat. And use your core for support to roll onto your mat. As the body gets all the way down, just relax into your corpse position, getting ready for our relaxation. Deep breath in, exhale, and just let your body go. Soften and sink. Lots of spine work today, and we're using that whole body. Circle the shoulders around a little bit, both legs, and then release from your hands, palms up, slightly away from your sides. Feel that heart open, let the shoulders sink toward the floor. Breathe deep. 
Let your body grow even heavier. And just let the earth support you. Turn your toes slightly toward each other and then let them go. Deep breath, exhaling, just let your body sink further into that earth support. Move your jaw around and release it. And your tongue behind your upper teeth and just let it soften. Exhale, soften your face, your scalp, your whole body. Just let it deepen into that earth embrace and let your body go. As you release thoughts of your body, just know that other thoughts will come to your mind. Just let them float away as easily as your breath. It's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath without awareness. And just allow your awareness to turn inward. Follow the breath deep within that point of peace and fill your body with peace. Fill your breath with peace. Fill your mind with peace. And just take a few moments being peace. If you can keep relaxing longer today, take all the time you have. If it's time to release and return for the rest of your day, just begin drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the room, to your body, with your breath. Breathe more deeply, begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you today. And as you breathe more fully and stretch more completely, when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels in toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug, however feels good for you today. Let your body know you appreciate its work in yoga and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor. Roll over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your world today. Thanks for joining me.